Hi everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John. I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. We're looking forward now to uh, the new year. So what we're going to be doing today is Thai spiced beef ribs with um, turmeric, uh, paprika rice with a few peas in it. So that's what we're going to, I'll show you how to do the rice on that later, that's dead easy. So what you need for this is a thousand mils of beef stock, if you oxos, whatever you want to do. So it's a thousand of the beef stock. Uh, three shallots, uh, cut up finely. Uh, a tablespoon of red curry paste, Thai red curry paste. Um, a teaspoon of allspice, um, three cloves of garlic, finely chopped, uh, one and a half inches of ginger, minced up, uh, a tablespoon of cinnamon, white pepper, salt, and about a pound of these ribs. Now I haven't cut the fat off, we're gonna leave the fat in because that is where all the flavor is. When they're done, it's going to be nice and tender, you can take the fat off if you want, it's completely tough. But I suggest, leave the fat on, let's get that flavour. That's where all your, that's where all your flavour is, in your meat. So, what we've got to do first, is... Put your pan on. Put your thousand mils of beef stock in there like so. This is going to be absolutely awesome. And what you do then is put your tablespoon of cinnamon in there like so. And your shallots. Do you like my Christmas tree? Ah, my dad bought me that for Christmas. Awesome. This is so easy but the end result is absolutely awesome, absolutely superb. So you've got a tablespoon of cinnamon in there and your shallots. And what you do then is put your beef in. Look at that, awesome. Awesome meat. Now what we're going to do with that is we're going to turn that down to medium heat and we're going to let that cook for about three and a half hours to four hours. So it's three o'clock now so this is going to be done for seven o'clock ready for our tea. Right, what you've got to do now is get yourself a bowl like so. Salt, garlic, ginger, pepper, your allspice, your red Thai curry. And what you want to do then is just put some olive oil in there. About two tablespoons in there like so. And just combined all that together, all these flavors. Just put enough olive oil into uh, 
loosen it up. Right, while they're cooking, they'll be simmering away, like I say, for three and a half to four hours. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do then. But while we're here, I'm just going to give a shout out to uh, these five channels. Uh, Rab2784, uh, awesome guy, great supporter of our channel, check him out. He's a big supporter on, on the channel. If you comment on his, he'll always return the love back to you. Absolutely awesome. Rab2784. Uh, the next one is in Indra's Kitchen. I-N-D-R-A-S Kitchen. Awesome lady, fantastic. Some of the recipes she's got on there is absolutely awesome. Now I want to give a, a big shout out to this channel. Quick and Easy 101 Recipes. Now they've supported our channel from the very from the very start of uh, our YouTube journey, and some of the recipes they've got on there, some of the comments we receive from them are absolutely awesome. That is a fantastic cooking channel. Another lady I'd like to give a big shout out to is Julia Beauty Styles. Now this lady is an absolute darling. She really is. Uh, come falter. She's, all, she's almost become a member of our family. She's absolutely brilliant. Another great supporter of our channel. She supports everybody. Absolutely brilliant. I just want a big thank you for it. And another channel um, I want to give a shout out for is Kids Fun Tube. Another great channel. Check all these, these channels out. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I could go on and on and on and on. You know what I mean? It just. But like I say, when we get to the next recipe, I'll do another fire out. But check these channels out. Right, the ribs have been simmering now for three and a half hours. So what we've got to do now is whack your uh, oven on and put that on 220. Get that nice and hot. So what we do now, is get your bowl with a mixture of the spices that we, uh, we combined earlier on. And what we've got to do now is just transfer your ribs into there. These are absolutely awesome. They're just absolutely awesome. They're just falling off the bone. Look at that. And in there, all them juices of the meat and the beef stock and that. Don't throw that away, keep that. And that'll be for a black pepper sauce future just put it in a jar or in a tub and save it because a black pepper sauce made this way is absolutely awesome and I mean awesome so what we do now is we mix all this together like so and all the spices in there This smells absolutely awesome. So what we're going to do now is get yourself a oven tray. Just put these in there like so. Space them out, give them, give them a bit of room so they cut nice and evenly. Look at that. And 
what we do with these, put them in the oven for about half an hour. Put a bit of foil on the top like so. Leave them in there for about two, leave, leave them for about half an hour, but leave, it, leave your oven on full bore, about 220. Right, the ribs are about five or six minutes away from being done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do the, uh, the rice. So what we've got to do first is obviously put your heat on. A little bit of olive oil in there like so. This is going to be awesome, absolutely awesome. And then ribs, they're so tender and the smell, oh, just absolutely awesome. So what you need for this then obviously is one chilli, de-seeded and washed, a tablespoon of paprika, and a teaspoon of turmeric. What you need then is a cup of rice. I've got the link for the rice, the foolproof uh, rice um, recipe I've got. Can't go wrong with it. Perfect rice every time. Combine all that in there. I don't know if you notice from my cooking, I don't really use a lot of oil. Can't be doing with greasy food. And I'm not kidding you, we've got some absolute awesome recipes coming up. We really have. We've worked really, really hard this year. The last three weeks I've been working on new recipes and I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. Because we just think they're awesome. You just chuck your, your peas in there like so. I love peas in the rice, I really do. I mean, spicy rice, you put anything you want to. Garlic, anything, curry powder, whatever you want to do. You want to turn that down? Right, we're ready for plating up. My lad bought me some of these plates for Christmas. I've 
got to show you these plates. Look at that. Awesome. Love my kitchen stuff. Love cooking. Anything to do with kitchen stuff, I'm there. I'm in another world. Absolutely. There's nothing better than cooking for all you lot. There really isn't. Gonna hit the camera, aren't I? It's not wasting it. You know, I like my presentation. Look at that. Look at that. Look at these. These are, these are absolutely awesome. There you have beef ribs, Thai spiced beef ribs with a spicy rice done with turmeric and paprika, red chilies and some nice peas with that. Now how awesome is that? Now I'm just going to show you how tender that is. Don't even think we're going to use. We don't even think we're going to have to use it. Okay. Look at that. Okay. The bone just drops off it. Look. Look at that. Okay. That's the dark one. That is absolutely awesome. flavours and the spice in that is awesome. You've got to do this one. This is absolutely puckers. Anyway, thanks for watching, Jeff and John. And that is, an is another awesome Walla.